And again, if while I'm talking, you have any questions, I'm here to answer them. So feel free. Um, so first we're going to be talking about revives, um, essentially contouring a device. And this is really awesome because this does use the, I suppose, mechanisms of lymphatic drainage. Um, it's really cool. It's made of stainless steel, uh, which is antimicrobial. So it's essentially not going to like harbor any bacteria that, you know, let's say you like roll this over an acne bump and then you put it down, you don't wash it. And then the next day you, the, I, I, well, the bacteria is still going to be there, but it's not going to soak into the product, which is the important thing. So always wash it. But um, this is amazing. I use this all the time. Honestly, I use it at least four times a week, I'd say. Um, and this one's great because it essentially uses the power of lymphatic drainage to sculpt your face. So here, I'll show you. It's got these two little, like, roller balls, I suppose, which it's also made of stainless steel. This entire thing is made of stainless steel. Um, and as you can see, they roll, right? And then it has this end here that also rolls. I'm so sorry about my manicure, by the way. I haven't had time to like get my nails done. Um, I am going today though, which is nice. But anyway, um, this right here is a nice little I guess roller as well. Um, and these two little balls here, they essentially are designed so that they hug kind of like the bones in your face. Um, so you can put it around your cheekbone, start by like your naso nasolabial fold, which is this fold right here. And then kind of just like go around and go up and when you do that essentially what happens is you are sculpting your face correct so you're moving the lymphatic the lymphatic fluid away from your skin while at the same time like cooling the skin down so that it kind of shrinks down so it's kind of a double whammy of sculpting because as you're moving the fluid away, it shrinks your skin down, correct? But then the coolness of it also is really great at depuffing. Um, how does it feel like? It feels cold. <laughs> it feels like you're rubbing um, cold metal on your skin, but it feels like a really nice, kind of like a kneading massage, I'd say. Um, I don't know. I got... Yes, I, I love to put this in the fridge uh, very much, especially because, I mean, metal conducts heat so well. Um, and by heat, I mean temperature. So it's going to like hold the cold for a very long time. Um, but yeah, it kind of, yeah, I'd say it feels like a need. That's, that's the best way to put it. But I also really like to kind of do this and... I'm doing it incorrectly right now. When you're doing lymphatic drainage, you're supposed to start in the middle and just go out. And then you lift and then you keep doing it again. And the reason is because if you're constantly doing this, you're like bringing the lymph here and then you're putting it back and then you're bringing it, you know what I mean? Like you're not actually pushing it out. You're kind of just windshield wipering it. So that's a tip for all lymphatic uh, drainage. Like if you're going to be using one of these tools, if you're going to be using, I don't know, a jade roller, um, always from the center out. And then after you're done, you always have to drain it down because it's a channel. Remember, it's not just going to exit here. It has to like exit through the exit points. So um, yeah, this, I really love just essentially to sculpt and then 
I like to also do it right here whenever, I don't know, whenever I feel like I have sinuses, honestly, like, or no, I have sinuses. Whenever my sinuses are flaring up, I like to do this. Um, and then I also like to kind of just do this as well to iron out any kinks in my forehead. Um, and then as for this side, I essentially like to go around my orbital bone. Um, this for me is more of like a massage than it is lymphatic drainage um, because it just is. I mean, you definitely can go like this if you want to do some lymphatic drainage, um, but I really enjoy doing this. Uh, it just feels good and it's nice and cooling and I don't know, can you see like, <laughs> I'm pushing my eyebrow up now, but I don't know, I feel like this eye just looks kind of more snatched than this one. Um, yeah, that's essentially that. Um, so next I am going to be talking about the 